welcome to my channel. My channel is more about not being a beauty guru, hence my name. It's about parodying the beauty gurus, the ones that go overboard, you know, the ones they spend an arm and a leg or get given free um, products that we, the average person, can't use. Today I'm going to do my normal look and in future videos I will do the looks that I did from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and all of those things. Relax, get a cup of coffee and enjoy. I'll talk to you as I'm doing it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take my glasses off, so which means I won't be able to see properly. I take my glasses off, put them down, scratch my ear. I'm not allowed to scratch my ears, I have psoriasis. Just get a normal face wipe. Wipe my face. Now remember this is my normal process. Do the back of my neck. While I'm doing it, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I am 66 years old, and if you can't tell, I am Australian. Now here's my thing. I live in Queensland. Today the weather is absolutely beautiful. Now, put the hair back again. Now, when I do my parodies, it will be complete with clapping, which annoys me greatly, waving of the fingers so that you can see the extra long nails. Now, mine aren't too long. I don't like them long. A little bit of, what am I using? Can't read it. Skin Doctor Pixel Perfect. Use the fingers. Because they were created before beauty sponges and all of that. Having said that, I will apply my makeup with a beauty sponge. Now back to about a bit about myself. I'm, as I said, I believe so I'm 66. I am a disability pensioner. Um, the result of having had two strokes in a year. My left side is, is partially paralysed. It doesn't work properly. I have to have a carer because left side doesn't work properly. Um, one of the strokes that I had, uh, the results said that it was at least um, two weeks before it was recognised that I'd had a stroke. Um, I have been to hospital quite a few times. In fact, one time I went before I was diagnosed with hemiplegic migraine. Now, for those of you that don't know what a hemiplegic migraine is, it's a migraine that mimics a stroke. You have the face drooping, you have the, the slurred speech, um, paralysis, you have all of that but it's not a stroke, it's actually a migraine. Sometimes I am, I uh, don't get a headache, but I do get a silent migraine. So all the symptoms are there. Now, one time when I went to the hospital before I was diagnosed with that, um, they told me, um, one of the doctors told me, maybe one less drink and you'll be fine. At that stage, um, I was probably having a migraine and I just got told one less drink you can go home. Now what I'm using now is Garnier BB Cream. It's the, um, it comes out white and it um, changes to suit your skin. I'm using a, a beauty blender. Now this is not one of those very expensive ones. As I said, I'm a disability pensioner and I can't afford 
you know, the high-end stuff. Not having said that, I do have some high-end makeup um, or higher-end makeup from when I was able to afford it. But now I'm not able to afford a great deal. And then they just tap it on. I have also, the year before I had my first stroke, I had stage 2 breast cancer. Now, I'm fine. I'm five years free. And at, when I was diagnosed, I didn't automatically think, I'm going to die. My reaction, as it has been to um, a lot of bad things that have happened in my life, was to say, well, okay, what can we do about it? So from the day of diagnosis to actually having the lumpectomy, I didn't have. I only had a lumpectomy. I didn't have a um, mastectomy. Was less than a week. I was very fortunate to be living in Melbourne at that time, and that's what the. Uh, he was a professor, said to me at the time. Okay, now having done that, just dry it off a bit. Now all of these products, with the exception of that one, the Skin Doctor, are readily available in your um, Walmart, Kmart, Big W, Target, Priceline, all of those sorts of ones. They're lower end. In fact, some of them I bought in a supermarket. Now, the next thing I do, having done that, is I do the eyeshadow. Now, I got this quite some time ago. It is a MAC product, and it's actually a blush. I don't use it as a blush. It's too dark. I would tell you what the colour is, but I can't see it. I open it carefully because the top falls out. And I didn't get a makeup brush, just a moment. I'm coming. Sorry. And I'll get a blush brush while I'm here. Now, sorry. Next thing is I get. And we'll drop that one on the floor. Just get out. This is a real techniques one. I got from Priceline. It does have on it what it's called, but I can't remember. But it's just a brush like that. No, it's not dirty. It's because of the product in the pan. Just lightly tap off the excess, of course, and then just pop it on my lid. All over. Doesn't matter. Just take it up a bit. Same on the other eye. Remember this is a blush. Talking, not silence. Okay, done that. All good. Next, I'm using an e.l.f. highlighter. That's it. E.l.f. This Kmart, Walmart, one of those cheaper stores. I don't know where I got this from. I can't remember. And then just put that, starting in the corner, out to the side. Remember, I've been doing this for 40 years, 50 years. Yeah, probably 50. I'm 66, so anything's possible. And just brush that in. Now, next step is mascara. Now, my, the mascara I'm using is um, L'Oreal water, water, <coughs> L'Oreal Waterproof. And that goes... Now, don't pump your mascara. 
You put air into the mascara and guess what? It dries out. That's one. Now I don't go berserk with the mascara for the simple reason I hate it. I hate caked on mascara. How, having said that, anything is possible. Now I, sometimes I do the bottom lashes, sometimes I don't. I'm not going to do the bottom lashes because it's not necessary. Next step is, oops, it's gone under there, come out. Eyebrow pencil. I've been doing my eyebrows for, as I said, 40 years, 40 plus years, and this is it. They won't grow back, so I can't have Instagram for eyelashes, eye, Instagram eyebrows. I can only have my eyebrows. that and like that. I used the pencil because I was taught all those years ago that when you use a pencil, use it, you feather your eyebrows. You don't draw, you feather. And I use it to fill in the spots where I don't have eyebrows. Like so. Now I've done that bit. I need a spool in there. Dear Andy. Oh, pick that up. Spooly. Hair out of my face again. Brush it in. Because when you use a pencil, if you don't do brush it in, your eyebrows are supposed to look normal. They're not supposed to look like, what is it, ombre? They're supposed to look like normal eyebrows. And not all of us have those wonderfully thick eyebrows. Now, next step is blush. My blush that I'm using and then on a daily basis is a Rimmel one. That's it there and you may be able to see the, the name on the back. I can't see it because I haven't got any glasses on. In, not too much, just a little bit. No need to take it up to your nose it's a blush if you if you really blush if you think about blush when you blush you don't blush here you blush here so that's where you put the blush i will do a video of parodying what they do now um i know how to do drag makeup and I can do that sort of makeup. But I will do it because I will show you. It's a parody. This channel is all about parodying people. Except today's video is about introducing myself, um, showing you what I would do on a daily basis, and telling you a bit about myself so you get to know me. So having done that, Makeup is supposed to enhance what you've got, not take over and get rid of it. <sighs> I forgot lipstick. Now I'll just get my lipstick and my pencil. This one and lipsticks, lipsticks, lipsticks. This one. This one. Okay, now, what I do is I do line my lips. Pull that up a bit, not too far, I don't want to break it off. 
I am using uh, Revlon lip liner, colour stay. And I do fill in my lips because it helps the lipstick stay on. I'm not one for doing touch-ups on makeup or redoing lipsticks. I do it once and if it comes off, it comes off. And that's that. The lipstick I'm using, excuse me, is Maybelline. I got it marked down price from a chemist. Or a drugstore. Languages. And that there is my normal daily look. I then touch it up with a bit of um, perfume, comb my hair, and that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll come back. Now, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I can use all the help I can get. It. Um, give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you again another day. Oh, I forgot my glasses.